Hey guys, how are you? So I've seen so many people ask if there is a way to make DIY foaming hand soap. Um, because of everything that's going on, our products are going in and out of stock right now. People are all about toxin-free cleaning. And so I wanted to just show you something. You can take your dish soap, your Thieves dish soap, or if you don't have these dish soap, I love this by the way. Um, it's a great degreaser. It takes very, very little. You can use like um, Castile soap or one of those, but I like we're going to do with the thieves because I want to see how this works. So I've been getting lots of questions and I just thought I would show um, how we can do this with the products that we have on hand when we can't get what we want to get, um, which is the thieves foaming hand soap. And I just encourage you guys to get it when you can, because it's an amazing product, the thieves foaming hand soap, you can get the big 32 ounce um, bottle and um, it lasts forever and ever because I don't feel it full. I use half of the foaming hand soap concentrate and then I use half water. Um, so this is what we're doing is two tablespoons of the Thieves um, dish soap. And that's about what's in there. So just enough to cover the bottom and then a little bit more. Then I'm going to add a cap full of the Thieves... Um, household cleaner does it need this absolutely not but i like it um that's the thieves household cleaner if you don't have this you need to get this this bottle lasts forever and ever um it only takes two caps or about one ounce to make a 32 ounce spray bottle and then so you can see that this is all that's in there that's it you guys the rest we're going to fill with water um, so some people like to use distilled water. Some people like to use purified water. Some people just use tap water. I'm just using tap water and you want to leave a little bit of enough room in there. And I hope I did. We're going to hope, hope, hope because you want to put this in and this takes up some room in there. Perfect. Yay. I did it right this time. Woo. And then you just want to give it a shake to make sure that all of the product in there gets mixed up well. And then we can always add a little bit more water to it as needed. You can see that there's a lot of product in there. So I may not have even needed that much. Um, I'm going to go try it in the sink right now. Pause. I'll be right back because I want to see how it is. Stay with me. I'm over here at the sink. I wanted you to see the foaming. It's nice. It feels great. It's just like a normal foaming hand soap. It smells great. And if you wanted, you could even add more essential oils. I know it's crazy. I'm not over there, but you could even add more oils. So if you want it to be a little bit stronger in smell, you can add um, some thieves, some peppermint, some lemon, some purification, any of the smells that you like, and those are all great um, for cleaning and all of that fun stuff. So that's how you do it. It's that simple guys. Have a beautiful day.